It's Mo, and today we're going to change the oil on the 97 Subaru Legacy 2.5. All you're going to need is a 17 millimeter wrench. I'm going to upgrade to this oil drain plug with a magnet on it, and of course, your oil. This asks for a 5W30, and this car has 95,000 miles on it, and any additives you want to add. So, what I believe this car takes five quarts. This is 16 ounces. So pour this in first, pour four quarts in there, and then just measure with a dipstick how much more oil you need. So I just came back from doing some errands, so the engine is warm. We have everything set up at the bottom. Some newspapers to catch any drips and the old plug and in case you didn't know it's counterclockwise Excuse me, I didn't have breakfast this morning. And there you go. So if you have something else to do, now would be the perfect time to do it. Let the car drain by itself. I say that leave a good 10 minutes if you're in a rush you don't have to wait that long in the meanwhile let's go work on that quick tip while you're always draining you can unscrew the cap that work eventually faster, making the oil go drip. Even you have to wait a long time. That's what I'm trying to say. So while that's draining, give it about five minutes, and then unscrew the oil filter. Okay, so it's been about five minutes, and it doesn't seem like it's going to drip anymore. Now. We're going to change the oil filter, which that's where it's located, with another oil filter. But this one's uh, the same brand, Subaru. You can pick whatever oil filter you want, but these are relatively cheap. I buy them at the dealership, four bucks each. And they'll give you a discount if you buy like a six of them or seven. And it's always good to have because if you're going to keep this car for the long run, you don't want to stick with what the manufacturer recommended. So we're going to chain, take the oil filter off, clean that little drip, and put the new oil plug. Okay, so we took off the oil filter, wrapped in that paper. So when we go recycle the oil, most places will take the oil filter. So it's always good to recycle. Protect the environment and things like that. Uh, all right, where, okay, so there's where the oil filter goes. So it has some oil there, but if you want to, you can just grab a little oil, just go around the edges, and that's it. So when you tie in it, you can do whatever you want, but for future, reference whenever you go and go change the oil filter also one more thing make sure there's no rubber the other rubber gasket in its place from the old old filter and it's not so anyways you want to hand tighten it you won't you don't want to do it with the wrench and over tighten crazy like mad unless you have that wrench for future reference but you never know next time you won't find it 
and you're struggling and you're cursing everything in the holy world so just hand tighten it I'm gonna get the old, the old pan out of the way my hands are a bit greasy so grab a rag give it another second so it's just nothing but hand strength and that's all it really needs and just wipe down the oil filter that way in case you start losing oil and you're looking where's the leaks at and you find oil on the oil filter you know where just get the oil pan out of the way we got the new oil plug in place so why the magnet so it could get the small pieces of metal from the friction all engines cause friction very minor now I mount like the pistons rubbing to the piston seal or stuff like that but it's always just good for cheap insurance you know so just grab your 17 in your 17 millimeter wrench and tie in that supposedly this calls for I think 20 pounds of torque just so until it's hand tight just you measure it when you took it off how much strength you needed a little bit like that all right don't go Hulk crazy with this you don't want to strip the oil pan it's not fun And that's it. And always use a new crush washer every time you change the oil or every other oil change, however you want, or put a little bit of that silicone and just wipe down any traces of oil, like here, probably inside. And then just remember to pick up your mess. So first, <clears throat> we're going to add this on. Once this is done, you add the oil. So this is pretty thick stuff, I don't know you can tell. Look at the bubbles. It's barely moving, it's upside down. So you want to leave this about 5-10 minutes. Go have breakfast, clean up anything else you have to do around the car. Once this is fully drained, and then add that. And then just check your oil constantly. And this is, this wraps up the video for the 97 Subaru Legacy 2.5. Oil change with the magnetic oil drain plug upgrade. Have a great day.